cluster of differentiation. What is cluster of differentiation? Cluster of differentiation is a surface marker that identifies a particular differentiation lineage recognized by a group of monoclonal antibodies. CD antigens are molecules originally defined as being present on the cell surface of leukocytes and recognized by specific antibody molecules, but now including some intracellular molecules and molecules present on cells other than leukocytes. Such molecules are assigned a CD number following a consensus reached at regularly held international workshops. Physiologically, CD antigens do not belong in any particular class of molecules. They can act in numerous ways, often acting as receptors or ligands important to the cell. Some CD proteins do not play a role in cell signaling, but have other functions, such as cell adhesion. Initially, CD designation was intended to describe a cluster of MABs that display the same cellular reactivity and identify the same molecular species. For instance, CD2 MABs are reagents that react with a 50K to transmembrane glycoprotein expressed on resting T cells. Later, the CD designations were used to describe the recognized molecules, but had to be clarified by attaching the term antigen or molecule to the designation, for example, CD2 molecule. Currently, CD2 is generally used to designate the molecule, and the CD2 antibody is used to designate the antibody. Over the past 30 years, the data generated by the 10 human leukocyte differentiation antigens workshops have led to the characterization and formal designation of more than 400 molecules. CD molecules are commonly used as cell markers, allowing the identification and isolation of leukocyte populations, subsets, and differentiation stages. MABs against these molecules have proven to be essential for biomedical research and diagnosis, as well as in biotechnology. More recently, they have been recognized as invaluable tools for the treatment of several malignancies and autoimmune diseases. CD Nomenclature The CD Nomenclature was proposed and established in the first International Workshop and Conference on Human Leukocyte Differentiation Antigens HLDA. This system was intended for the classification of the many monoclonal antibodies generated by different laboratories around the world against epitopes on the surface molecules of leukocytes. The proposed surface molecule is assigned a CD number once two specific monoclonal antibodies are shown to bind to the molecule. A lowercase w preceding the number designation stands for workshop. If the molecule has not been well characterized, or has only one MAB, it is usually given the provisional indicator W, as in CDW186. A lowercase letter following the CD number, for example, CD1A, CD1B, CD1C, CD1D, or CD1E, indicates several molecules that share a common chain. Other examples are the integrin chains CD11A, CD11B, and CD11C, all of which share CD18 as a common chain to form different dimers. In other cases, Lowercase letters have been used to name different members of the same gene family, as is the case with CD66, CD66A, CD66B, CD66C, CD66D, CD66E, and CD66F. With regard to carbohydrate CD structures, a lowercase suffix represents a modification of the same carbohydrate sequence, for example, CD15 equals sialylated CD15, Lewis Ag. CD60B equals 9-O-acetylated ganglioside GD3. The CD nomenclature is also frequently used to describe lymphocyte and leukocyte subsets. The presence or absence of a specific antigen from the surface of the particular cell population is denoted with plus or, respectively. For example, a CD34 plus, CD31 minus cell is one that expresses CD34, but not CD31. Some cell populations can also be defined as high, mid or low alternatively bright, mid or dim, indicating an overall variability in CD expression, particularly when compared to other cells being studied. The Human Leukocyte Differentiation Antigens Workshops, HLDA, has since 1984 provided a forum for the characterization and study of leukocyte surface molecules and antibodies against them. The aims are summarized as follows. Clarify and bring up to date earlier provisional, CDW, designations. Fill in some of the CD numbers that had previously been reserved for members of molecule families such as chemokin receptors. 
allocate CD numbers to new antibodies and new molecules where adequate data was submitted. Initiate multi-laboratory studies on important differentiation markers, irrespective of their cellular location. Participating laboratories perform specific blind studies with the MABs included in the panel. This allows for the testing of MAB reactivity with multiple cell types using multiple color flow cytometry. Other participating researchers perform additional tests, such as immunohistochemistry on tissue sections, or the biochemical characterization of the target molecules, using immunoprecipitation, western blots, or binding studies to the recombinant target molecules. In order to identify MAB detecting similar antigens, all MAB were compared pairwise, and their similarities or differences designated as the distance between them. Distance was defined as the mean absolute difference in reactivity between any two MAB pairs tested against cell target cells included in the study. The calculated distance for all MAB pairs, were then analyzed using a hierarchical clustering algorithm. The algorithm forms clusters beginning with the pairs of MAB, showing the closest or least distance associations, and then adds successive MAB pairs to the clusters. In this manner, a hierarchical tree was established, linking together in decreasing order of similarity all MAB tested. Within a given test protocol, once a hierarchical tree was established, cut points were determined to subdivide the tree into several individual MAB clusters. The level of the cut points were selected such that the distances between MAB within a cluster were minimized while the distances between MAB in separate clusters were maximized. In this manner, a family of clusters including all MAB tested was established. These clusters were designated clusters of differentiation. Immunophenotyping CD antigens are mostly detected for the identification of populations and subpopulations of immune system cells. A process that uses antibodies to identify cells based on the types of antigens or markers on the surface of the cells. This process is used to diagnose specific types of leukemia lymphoma and other cells of the immune system. Clusters of differentiation markers are widely used for immunophenotyping. In some cases, CD antigens are expressed only at certain stages of development or under certain conditions. Some of the surface antigens are useful for delineating the cell lineage of leukocytes. Unique assignment of a surface antigen to a particular lineage is best when the antigen is related to a unique functional property of a given cell type. The CD3 surface antigens form part of the T-cell receptor complex for antigens. As such, CD3 is expressed exclusively by mature lymphocytes of the T-cell lineage. CD4 and CD8 are, in general, used as markers for the helper and cytotoxic T cells, respectively. These molecules are defined in combination with CD3. Some other leukocytes also express these CD molecules. Some macrophages express low levels of CD4, dendritic cells express high levels of CD8. In addition, CD20 is antigen found exclusively on lymphocytes of the B cell lineage. Most CD antigens, however, are expressed at varying levels by many different cell types. Rather than the exclusive expression of a single CD antigen with a particular cell type, it is the peculiar constellation of surface antigens expressed by a given cell, that helps assign it to a particular lineage or sublineage of cells. Increasingly, the resolution of many important cell subpopulations requires two or more color multiparameter flow cytometric analyzes. CD3 TCR, T cell receptor complex. Expressed during thymopoiesis and on mature T cells in the periphery. Less than 10% of human peripheral T cells express the gamma, delta TCR complex, but in the mouse, the great majority of T cells present in some epithelial tissues are gamma, delta plus, and have limited receptor diversity. Pre TCR alpha is expressed in immature but not mature T cells. CD3 TCR consists of both IGSF and non-IGSF proteins. The stoichiometry of a CD3 TCR complex is not established but is generally thought to contain a TCR heterodimer, two CD3 epsilon chains, a CD3 gamma and a CD3 delta chain and a zeta homodimer. The transmembrane domains of the clonotypic and invariant chains contain oppositely charged amino acids. The zeta chain forms disulfide-linked homodimers. The zeta chain is related to the gamma chain of the IGEFC receptor. The cytoplasmic domains of the CD3 and zeta chain contain atom motifs. The alpha, beta and gamma, delta heterodimers recognize peptide antigen bound to MHC antigens.
recognition of antigen leads to signal transduction mediated by the invariant chains and subsequently T-cell activation. Consequences of binding by TCR depend on antigen density and affinity of TCR for antigen and may result in unresponsiveness. Signal transduction involves tyrosine kinase and phospholipase C activation, followed by phosphoacetide turnover and activation of several second messenger pathways. CD4 is expressed on most thymocytes and approximately two-thirds of peripheral blood T cells, which constitute the CD8 cells. In human and rat but not in mouse, CD4 is expressed on monocytes and macrophages. The extracellular domain is made up of four IGSF domains. CD4 domains 1 and 2 bind to MHC class 2 antigen. There is evidence that CD4 domains 3 and 4 are involved in cis interactions with the CD3 TCR complex. The cytoplasmic domain interacts with a lymphocyte specific tyrosine kinase called LCK through a CXCP motif. CD4 is an accessory molecule in the recognition of foreign antigens in association with MHC class 2 antigens by T cells. Interactions with MHC class 2 and with LCK have been shown to have a role in CD4 function. MOBs against CD4 inhibit T cell functions in vivo and in vitro. CD8 is expressed on most thymocytes and approximately one third of peripheral blood T cells, which constitute the CD4 minus cells. CD8 alpha beta heterodimers are expressed only on TCR alpha beta cells, whereas CD8 alpha homodomers can be expressed on alpha beta and gamma delta T cells and some NK cells. CD8 is expressed as a heterodimer of CD8 alpha and CD8 beta, or as a CD8 alpha homodomer. CD8 alpha is required for expression of CD8 beta. The IGSF domain of CD8 alpha binds to the alpha 3 domain of MHC class 1. Like CD4, a CXCP motif in the cytoplasmic domain of CD8 alpha mediates binding to the tyrosine kinase LCK. CD8 acts as a coreceptor with MHC class 1 restricted TCRs in antigen recognition. Analysis of mice lacking CD8 alpha or CD8 beta shows that, the coreceptor function of CD8 is important for selection of MHC class 1 restricted CD8 plus T cells. CD markers in solid tumors Except defining leukocytes, in some cases, they also have utility in the identification of tumors. Besides, antibodies targeting CD antigens are used clinically in the treatment of tumors, and autoimmune diseases, and to limit the rejection of transplanted organs. Moreover, the evaluation of the ectopic expression of these markers in solid tumors has led to the detection of disease in early stages. The expression of some CD markers on tumor cells due to epigenetic changes, results in the aggressiveness and resistance of these cells to the therapeutic agents. Hypomethylation of the CPG islands in the promoters of many CD marker genes, results in the increased expression of these markers on tumors, which eventually increases tumor survival. EZH2 has methyl transferase activity, and through the methylation of histone H3, suppresses the expression of tumor suppressor genes and CD markers. There are many microRNAs suppressing the expression of CD markers on tumor cells, which in fact, play the role of tumor suppressors by binding the 3 UTR of CD marker mRNAs and prevent their expression. However, in methylated tumor cells, binding of inhibitory factors to the promoter regions of these microRNAs reduces their expression and in turn, increase the expression of CD markers. Therefore, the CD markers expressed on tumor cells could be used as diagnostic and prognostic factors and might also, detect the signaling pathways in activating the tumor suppressors. List of human cluster of differentiation You can find more details on our website. Thanks for your watching.